the scale of, of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. Um, I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. What if I told you that a robot standing at 5 feet 8 inches could end global poverty, perform surgery better than the world's top doctors, and become the biggest product in human history? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, Elon Musk doesn't think so. During Tesla's Q3 2025 earnings call, he made a jaw-dropping claim. We reach uh, about a million units per year uh, of sustained production or in excess of that. Optimus has the potential to be the biggest product of all time. But here's the catch. While Musk is painting this utopian future, the robot can barely serve popcorn without freezing up. Welcome to the wild world of Tesla's Optimus, where trillion-dollar dreams meet billion-dollar challenges. Let's start with the latest bombshell. On October 26, 2025, Elon Musk announced that Optimus V3, the robot that's supposed to change everything, will be unveiled in Q1 2026. But this isn't just another incremental upgrade. According to Musk, V3 is something special. In his own words, it won't even seem like a robot. It'll seem like a person in a robot's suit. Which is kind of how we started off with Optimus. It'll seem so real that you'll need to poke it, I think, to believe that it's actually a robot. What makes V3 so revolutionary? For starters, it's already using Grok Voice AI, Tesla's advanced language model. Just chilling, ready to help. Hey Optimus, do you know where I can get a Coke? Sorry, I don't have real-time info, but I can take you to the kitchen if you want to check for a Coke there. That means this robot can not only move, but also talk, understand commands, and interact naturally with humans. The integration of XAI's Grok represents a massive leap from the teleoperated demonstrations we've seen before. But we'll get to those controversies in a moment. Tesla board chair Robin Denholm recently provided a fascinating update on Optimus's dexterity improvements. She revealed that Optimus can now fold laundry, wipe tables, shake hands, and handle delicate objects with remarkable tactile sensitivity. I've been in the lab with Optimus. He can fold laundry. He can wipe the table really well. He can hand things to you. You can actually shake hands with him. The tactile nature of his hand is actually really very good, Denholm stated. But Musk's vision goes far beyond household chores. The Hand Dexterity Challenge. The Robot's Achilles Heel. This brings us to one of the most critical challenges facing Optimus, hand dexterity. Elon Musk himself admitted during the Q3 earnings call, one of the biggest difficulties is creating a hand that is as dexterous and capable as the human hand. There's really three things that are super difficult about robots. One is the engineering of the forearm and hand, uh, because the human hand is an, an incredible, incredible thing, actually. It's, super dexterous. Why is this so hard? The human hand is an engineering marvel. 27 bones, 34 muscles, over 100 ligaments and tendons, all working in perfect harmony to provide 29 degrees of freedom. Tesla's Gen 2 Optimus features hands with 11 degrees of freedom. The upcoming Gen 3 promises 22 degrees of freedom, getting closer to human-like capability but still falling short. According to Tesla's patent filing WO2024-073138A1, Optimus uses an under-actuated hand with cable-driven fingers that employs only six actuators to control 11 joints. This is a clever engineering solution that reduces complexity and weight, but it comes with trade-offs in fine motor control. Alexander Kernbaum, interim director of SRI International's Robotics Laboratory, observed about the 2022 model, The hand design was quite basic, and I would say the majority of time spent should be on the hand and dexterous manipulation. The challenge isn't just mechanical. It's also about software. Creating algorithms that can predict grip force, adjust for object fragility, and perform delicate manipulations requires enormous amounts of training data and computational power. 
Tesla is leveraging its experience from full self-driving technology, but manipulating objects is fundamentally different from navigating roads. Reports indicate that Tesla has accumulated a stock of partially completed Optimus units, bodies without hands or forearms, with no clear timeline for completion. This hand design issue first surfaced last summer and forced Tesla to dramatically scale back production plans. The teleoperation controversy. Now we need to address the elephant in the room, the teleoperation controversy that has plagued Optimus demonstrations. At Tesla's We Robot event in October 2024, Optimus robots were showcased dancing, serving drinks, and interacting with attendees. It looked incredibly impressive, until reports revealed that many of these robots were being remotely controlled by humans in motion capture suits. Bloomberg and multiple other sources confirm that Tesla was less than forthcoming about its robots being teleoperated by humans during its We Robot event. While Tesla didn't explicitly lie, employees confirmed to attendees when asked directly, I said, are you being remote controlled? Today, I'm yes. assisted by a human. They also didn't go out of their way to make the teleoperation transparent. Robotics expert Christian Hubicki explained the three types of robot control. Pre-programmed, following predetermined instructions, autonomous, real-time internal control, and teleoperated, human-controlled via motion capture. He noted that the walking had to be autonomous because balance requires real-time feedback that a teleoperator couldn't provide. However, the upper body movements and verbal interactions were clearly teleoperated, evident from the immediate responses and natural gesticulations. What games do I play? What games do I play? I play charades. You want to play charades? Why does this matter? Because it creates a misleading impression of where Optimus actually stands compared to competitors. If viewers don't know about the teleoperation, it makes the Optimus seem years ahead of where it really is, Hubicki noted. The controversy reached a farcical low point when an Optimus robot failed while serving popcorn on the opening day of Tesla's new diner in Los Angeles in July 2025. Even with human teleoperation, the robot froze and stopped working. Attendees were told it lost connection. Beyond dexterity, Optimus faces significant challenges in battery performance and hardware-software integration. According to industry analysis, Tesla currently struggles with two major bottlenecks, limited battery life and difficulties with hardware-software integration. The Gen 2 Optimus features a 2.3 kilowatt-hour battery designed to enable a full day's operation. However, achieving this in real-world conditions, where the robot is constantly moving, processing visual data, and performing tasks, remains elusive. Current estimates suggest operational times are significantly shorter than the theoretical full day. The challenge is compounded by fundamental inefficiencies in core hardware components, particularly joint motors and transmission systems. While AI improvements in motion planning and energy optimization could help, these software solutions can't overcome hardware limitations entirely. Tesla's approach uses all-electric actuators throughout, which is more energy efficient than the hydraulic systems used by Boston Dynamics Atlas. However, electric actuators must balance power output with heat generation and energy consumption, a difficult engineering optimization. So we will leave it right here. In part two of the video, we will be looking at the one of the biggest mistake of Tesla when it comes to Optimus Humanoid Robot. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. <laughs> See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.